Hi everyone! Today I'm sharing a process video for my Life Crafted album, and I'm using the new Bungalow Lane add-on kit from Citrus Twist Kits that was just released this month. As the name suggests, the kit this month features these gorgeous papers from Paige Evans' Bungalow Lane collection, as well as some coordinating enamel dots and alpha stickers from Citrus Twist Kits, and a couple of papers from some other collections as well. It's just been getting a bit colder here in Alberta, so I'm really looking forward to using these kind of more autumnal type pattern papers in my projects. Another thing that they included in this kit was this navy blue 12 by 12 cardstock. This is the color Stargaze from American Crafts, and I thought it would be fun to try making that into my base pages for my layout today. I usually use either um, white cardstock or pattern paper as my base, and I think I've tried using craft cardstock just the one time, um, but I've never tried using like a plain colored cardstock base before, so this should be fun. My idea for this spread is to create a fold-out page for the left side of the spread and just a full page for the right side of my spread. So I'm cutting this piece of cardstock down to 8 and 3 8 of an inch first, and that's going to be the height of my pages. But since the pages in my Life Crafted albums measure 5 inches wide, that's outside the page protector, and this cardstock is only 12 inches wide, I realized I'd have enough width for one of my 5 inch wide pages, but then I'm only left with um, just the 7 inches wide for my foldout page, which isn't quite enough to make the full page foldout that I had in mind. So I'm just scoring that page here at four and a quarter inches. And once I have that folded over, that leaves about two and a half inches that I have to make up for. So I'm just going through the pattern paper that came in this kit and seeing which ones will go better with the colors in my photos. And I decided that the brown tones in this one pattern paper really goes well with the um, browns in the rocks and the mountains in my photos. And this is the um, number seven pattern paper in the Bungalow Lane collection. I've cut a piece that's a bit more than two and a half inches wide by eight and three eighths of an inch tall and just attaching this to the shorter flap of my fold out page with some eighth inch score tape. And that just makes it so that the base of this page is going to be five inches wide as usual. And that has a fold out that's about four and a quarter inches wide. I've printed out some photos of a recent hike that I did with my boyfriend and a group of my friends, and I decided I wanted to leave a bit of a white border around these photos, um, just because it's going to help make these photos stand out a bit more from the navy blue background. Um, there is a bit of blue going on and some darker tones in my photos, so having that white really makes the photos pop on this darker background page. So I have two 3x4 photos here. Um, one is in the portrait orientation and one is in the landscape orientation. And those are both going on the right page. And then on that larger sheet, I just have printed out a larger photo that's just under four by seven and a half inches, as well as three photos that I've stacked together, creating um, a column of three photos. And these are all about four inches wide. So I'm just going to cut all three of them into one long photo strip. And one of these is going to go on the outside of this flap, and the other is going to go on the inside of this flap. And I really love how the blue cardstock really goes well with the blues and the grays in my photos. So here I decided I want this larger photo to go in the front of this flap, but with the borders it's just a tiny bit too wide to fit here. So I did have to trim off um, the white borders down just to um, make it fit a bit better. Um, and luckily this one photo has a bit of a lighter background with all the browns in the rocks. So it doesn't have as much of a problem standing out from that navy blue background, even without the white borders. Here I'm just going through all the embellishments that came in this kit to think about how I'd like to decorate this layout. And I really like these large florals that came in this die cut ephemera pack. Um, this is also from the Paige Evans Bungalow Lane collection, so I know that the colors will be perfect for the spread. So I'm just taking these all out and dumping them into one of those plastic 4x6 containers that people use to store their photos. I just find this is a bit easier to dig through all of those ephemera bits and find what I'm looking for. 
I realized at this point that I hadn't actually typed out my journaling yet. So this kit did come with this um, cut apart sheet that has some four by six journaling cards on it. Um, this is page number 24 in the Bungalow Lane collection. And I was trying to decide between the green one that says, here's the story on the top, or the blue one that says, made me smile on the bottom. And between those two, I ended up going with the green one just to bring in some of the greens from the trees in my photos. Just going off screen here to do some typing on some clear sticker paper. Um, I did do a tutorial recently on um, what types of sticker paper I like to use and how I managed to get the journaling to line up um, within the lines of these journaling cards. So I'll leave a link down in the description box below if you'd like to check that out. I've noticed that a lot of other companies tend to have landscape oriented four by six pocket cards in their paper collections. So um, since I do most of my scrapbooking in life crafted albums, those tend to be a bit harder to use up because you have to trim the cards down to fit onto the life crafted pages because they're five inches wide and the cards are six inches wide. So I really appreciate that Citrus Twist Kits has found a sheet of card parts um, with four by six portrait oriented pocket cards as these are always a bit easier to use on these tall pages. So one thing that I discovered when I was making this video was that um, this sticker paper, if you stick it down, there is still an opportunity to peel it off the page um, like I just did here um, if you've accidentally stuck it on to the wrong spot. Uh, that being said, I only had like a very small amount that was attached to the paper um, and it didn't rip when I peeled it off. So um, that kind of leaves me hope that if I do stick it down one day um, before I burnish it down, I can maybe still peel it off and reposition it, but I definitely won't be trying that anytime soon um, just to test that out. Moving on to the decorating. My plan was to have one floral cluster on the top right side of this page just nestled in behind that top photo and another floral cluster on the bottom left side of this page just in the corner between those two photos and this took me a bit longer than I expected. I think because these floral die cut pieces might be meant for more like 12 by 12 layouts because I know Paige Evans does a lot of 12 by 12 layouts but I was having a bit of difficulty finding like three flowers for each corner that would fit in those corners and not be the same colors as each other but would be small enough that they kind of made more sense together in those corners and I was also trying to stay away from the leaves as well. I really do want to save those for when the leaves start changing color here and I'm able to use them with more like autumno type photos. I did, however, pull in one large leaf that was dark green, and that was just because I wanted to pull in some of the green onto this page as well to balance out the green in my journaling card on the left side of this layout. And I was trying to avoid using any of the large um, blue florals because I didn't think that they would provide enough contrast to my navy blue background here. So I almost had it there, but I just didn't like how that one large red flower was mostly hidden by my two photos so I dug around a bit more for some smaller flowers and this is what I decided on in the end. I was just starting to adhere these all together with my Tombow Mono permanent adhesive tape runner but I saw that sprig of brown leaves that I had just sitting on my desk. It was kind of beat up a bit from being in the package with the other um, larger more robust die cut pieces but I thought it would be nice to add a bit more interest with a couple of sprigs of these leaves here and there so I just ended up tearing off a couple of from that main branch and fit them in with my floral clusters. You'll notice that the way I like to glue down my embellishments clusters is to start with the top layers first, then start adding some adhesive to the backs of those top pieces and picking up additional layers as I go along. And that way I can make sure that all my pieces fit in the Life Crafted album page and nothing is covering up the binder holes and I can always adjust how things are arranged on my page before I adhere everything down onto the base page. 
Moving on to the left side of my spread, I'm just using the Citrus Twist Puffy Alphabet stickers that came in this kit to add the name of the hike that we did that day. Um, this was the Edith Cavell Trail Hike, and I love how the alphabet coordinates with the colors in the rest of this kit. You can't really see it in this video, but each letter has a bit of a diamond pattern on them, and it just provides a bit more visual texture as opposed to just being like a solid colored alpha. Before I adhered this photo down, I decided to add a flower onto both sides of this fold out to serve as kind of like a tab to open this page. So I found this blue flower in the die cut pack and cut it in half and my idea was to put each of these two halves of the flower onto the two sides of this flap and that they would line up and make a nice tab. But what I didn't really realize was that these flowers are not symmetrical. So I ended up with some parts of the back piece sticking out in the front and vice versa. So I did have to trim off a bit of those overhanging edges, but it worked out in the end. I'm just adhering all my photos down as well as this 4x6 journaling card and I did decide to add some of these foam stickers onto my pages as well. Um, these ones did also come in the kit. The blue one on the front page says one fine day and I'm also going to be sticking the small ones that say this here onto the bottom photo of the right page. I really like the warmth of the gold foiling in these foam stickers and I like that the foam adds a bit of dimension to my otherwise mostly flat page. I was debating on adding some of those enamel dots but I felt like the darker colors wouldn't stand out enough on this navy blue cardstock and the lighter ones were just like a bit too bright for the photos that I had chose for this spread. So I ended up just using a gold gel pen and just drawing in some plus signs around my floral clusters and that just added the right amount of gold to complement the gold in those phone stickers. That finishes up my spread for today. Don't forget to check out the Citrus Twist Kits shop to find the add-on kit that I used for the spread. And make sure to hit the like button if you liked this video and subscribe for more process videos. Thanks so much for watching!